number three introduction to cyber security and secure web browsing and uh, this is the third unit and we will see the same pattern in the same pattern we will see the questions 30 and sequence we will see for this unit also and the first question is what is the primary goal of cyber security is it to develop software application to protect information and system from cyber threats or to design hardware device and last option is to manage databases correct option is option number b the primary goal of cyber security is to protect information and system from cyber threats option b is correct next question which concept refer to measure taken to protect information system from unauthorized access of damage is it data mining information security data analysis or software engineering correct option is option b information security next question what is the common threat to information security is it data visualization malware data encryption or data compression correct option is option b malware is the common threat to information security next one which type of malware is designed to replicate itself and spread to other computers is it trojan worm spyware or ransomware correct option is option b Worm is a malware which is designed to replicate itself and spread to other computers. Next one, what is phishing? Is it a type of firewall, a method of data encryption or a technique used to trick user into providing sensitive information? Option C is correct. Phishing is a technique which is used to trick user into providing sensitive information. Next one. How is cyber security utilized in the healthcare industries? Is it to develop new medication or to protect patient data and hospital system? Yeah, this will be the correct option. Cyber security utilized in the healthcare industry to protect patients' data and system hospital systems. Option B is correct. Next one. Which tool is commonly used for network scanning and vulnerability assessment? Is it Photoshop, Nmap, Excel or Blender? Correct option is option B. Nmap is commonly used for network scanning and vulnerability assessment. Option B is correct. Next question. What is the main purpose of Wireshark in cyber security? Main purpose of Wireshark in the cyber security is to analyze network traffic. Option B is correct. Next question. Which cyber security tool is known for its social network analysis capabilities? Is it Multigo, TensorFlow, AutoCAD or MATLAB? Correct option is option number A. Multigo is a tool of cyber security which is known for its social networking analysis capabilities. Option a is correct next question what role does ai play in cyber threat intelligence solution is it to generate new software code to help or it helps in predicting and identifying potential cyber threats or it is used for image processing or is designed high hardware components correct option is option number b it helps in predicting and identifying potential cyber threats next one how can one recognize a secure web connection is it by checking the http in the url or by checking the http in the url and a padlock icon option b is correct by checking the http in the url and padlock icon we can recognize a secure web connection option b will be correct here next question is what should you do if you if you encounter a suspicious link in an email? Option is click on it immediately. No. Forward it to a friend. No. Option C is hover over the link to check the URL and verify its authenticity. Yeah, this will be the correct option. If you encounter a suspicious link in an email, just hover over the link to check the url and verify its authenticity if it is secure then click on that link otherwise leave it next question is why is it important to update browser and plugins regularly is it to increase internet speed to secure compatibility with the old website 
or to patch security vulnerabilities and enhance protection. Last option is to improve graphic rendering. Correct option is option C to patch security vulnerabilities and enhance protection. Option C will be correct. Next one, what does an, an untrusted source warning indicate? So, an untrusted source warning indicates that the website is unsafe and may pose security risk. Option B will be correct. Next question, what is one way to enhance your security on social media platforms like Facebook and WhatsApp? Correct option is option B. Using two-factor authentication, we can enhance our security on social media platforms like Facebook and WhatsApp. Option B will be correct. Next question, what is a ransomware? Is it a type of antivirus software? A type of malware that encrypts file and demands payment for the, de for the decryption, uh, decryption key or a method of data backup or a security protocol. Correct option is option B. Ma ransomware is a type of malware that encrypts file and demands payment for the decryption key. Option B will be correct. Next question. Option B will be correct. Next question. Which type of attack involves overwhelming a system with traffic to, to disturb its normal operation? Is it phishing, SQL injection or Daniel of service or last option is man in the middle? Correct option is option number C. DOS, Daniel of service. Full form of DOS can also be asked. So keep this point in your mind. Next question. In the context of cyber security, what is a exploit? Is it a type of hardware device, a software tool that takes advantage of a security vulnerability? And C option is a network protocol and last is an encryption standard. Correct option is option B. Exploit is a software tool that takes advantage of a security vulnerability. Option B will be correct. Next, next one, what is the primary function of a firewall in a network security? Is it to store data securely or to monitor and control incoming and outgoing network traffic based on the predetermined security rules? Yes, this is the correct option. Firewall is, the function of firewall is to monitor and control incoming and outgoing networks traffic based on the predetermined security rules. Option B will be correct. How can you recognize a phishing email? Now you know what is phishing. Now question is how can you recognize a phishing email? So it can be recognized by a spelling and grammatical errors and a request sensitive information. So if there is a grammatical and contains a spelling error in the mail or if the mail is requesting for a sensitive information, means that mail is a phishing mail. We can recognize it in this way. Next one, what is the purpose of encryption in the cyber security? The purpose of encryption is to protect data by covering it into a secure format that cannot be read without a key. Option B is correct. Encryption means this. Next one. What is a zero-day vulnerability? So, zero-day vulnerability means a vulnerability that is unknown to the software vendor and does not have a fix. Option C is correct. Next question. What is social engineering in the context of cyber security? So, social engineering means manipulating people into devolving and confidential information. Next question. What is the primary function of antivirus software? The primary function of antivirus software is to scan, detect and remove malicious software. Option B is correct. Very simple one. Next one. Which of the following is a common type of social engineering as it attack? Is it a brute force attack, phishing, DDoS attack or SQL injection? So, phishing is a very common type of social engineering attack. Next one. 
वट डोज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ लीस्ट प्रिविलेज इन टेल इन साइबर सिक्योरिटी सो इट इज ग्रांटिंग यूजर्स वनली द एक्सेस नेसेसरी टू परफॉर्म देयर जॉब फंक्शन ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ वर्चुअल प्राइवेट नेटवर्क वीपीएन करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए टू क्रिएट अ सिक्योर कनेक्शन ओवर अ लेस सिक्योर नेटवर्क The purpose of virtual private network is to create a secure connection over a less secure network. Option A is correct. Next question: Which type of cyber attack involves intercepting and altering communication between two parties? Is it phishing, man-in-the-middle attack, DDoS attack, or ransomware attack? Correct option is option B, man-in-the-middle attack. and now the second last question is what is the main function of captcha on website very simple one the main function of captcha on the website is to prevent automated bots for submitting forms option b is correct and the last question is why is it important to recognize suspicious links in email and website so it is important because they can redirect a malicious site that is still information or install malware option b is correct so this was all about the unit number 1 2 and 3 later we will see the questions of unit 4 5 and 6 till then keep sharing this video in all the groups so that everyone can get benefit of this questions thank you so much